Hello. So this video, we are going to be talking about uh, rigid translations for functions. So the idea here is that we're going to be looking at this from a geometric perspective first. And then in a separate video, we'll talk about the analytic part. So what we want in this video really is to get sort of a graphical understanding, a geometric understanding of what we mean when we talk about rigid translations. OK, so to that end, Let's start with a curve. So the idea of this curve, right, the, the sort of thing that we want to think about is we have some x, y axis just like normal. We have this curve here. And to be a translation, just a regular translation, what that would mean is that we want to move this thing left, right, up, or down. But we want specifically what's called a rigid translation. A rigid translation is that we don't want the actual function, the curve, to change. So instead, we want to think of it as being like a cast iron sort of a uh, piece of metal that we have to sort of drag left, right, up, or down without actually sort of changing the, you know, without stretching it, without tilting it. We can only go left, right, up, or down. We can't squish it or anything like that. So, for example, if we wanted to go to the right, right, so we start with where it is right now, and then we can translate it doing a rigid translation, and it would go to the right, okay? So this would be sort of an example because it stays exactly the same shape. It just shifts the whole thing in one direction. Likewise, we could start with, again, the same curve to start with, and we could go down instead of to the right, right? So we can go left, right, up, or down. And sort of importantly, right, I, I say left, right, up, or down. So you might ask, like, what about diagonal or something? Strictly speaking, we don't move diagonally, but what we could do is go sort of down and then right, which would have that sort of effect. So if we, again, look at our sort of original shape, we could go, let's say, to the right first and then down or down and to the right. OK, so in, in some sense, the, the order doesn't matter. I'm going to end up in the same place, which is what I'm trying to show here. Um, but the sort of order of certain operations will end up mattering. And this is a thing that we'll talk about when we sort of get to that point with the analytic points of view. So here, the real takeaway then, to wrap up, <laughs> is that we want to think of rigid translations, right? Um, as in like the, the function translations, but the specifically the rigid ones. These things are sort of like taking that graph and just moving it left, right, up, down, like one of these two directions. And sort of the way we capture that idea of, of any of the other directions, like you know diagonally or something like that, is by doing one than the other. And the sort of here doesn't matter which order that goes in, but it turns out that we sort of will see certain situations where that order does matter. So keep in the back of your mind that for just the translation bit, the rigid translation bit, uh, we can do it in any order at the moment, but we will see when that order actually matters. Okay, so that is that. Thank you.